and how different is this chart from Kundli that uh, in uh, you know Vedic you've astrology? Seen Kundli, right? Yeah, you've I mean, seen I, I've, I've, like. I've seen images yeah. on Google. Yeah, so I'll show you how human design chart works. So it's about understanding like human characteristics, like how you are as a person. Uh, it's it tells who you are. It tells what is your specific way of making decisions. Uh -huh. It tells you uh, what are your weak sides and how to turn them into strengths. Okay. It shows you the areas where you can get influenced by others and what to do about it. Uh -huh. It shows you what kind of person you are in relationships and what your partner should know about you. Okay. It shows all the energy centers that you have right. and the centers that can switch on and off, switch on and off, and where you have to be careful. Okay. It shows you all the specific gifts and talents you right. have. It shows... Uh, basically your whole life path, uh -huh. but it doesn't do predictions. Right. It says, okay, you have this skill, you have this skill, you have this skill. You can use it in engineering, you can use it in doctoring, you can use it in humanitarian right. subjects. It doesn't matter, but this is the skill that you have. Hmm. So it doesn't, um, it is not like astrology which shows you... That you're going to have a bad week, yes, or you're going to have a no. good week. Okay. This I is why it. I call human design is an empowering tool. Okay. And if somebody ever uh, tells you that there are it, bad yeah. things, in human design and your chart, that means you went to a wrong region. Right. Okay. So this is what you look like. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. This, see? <laughs> wow. Yeah. So every single little thing and number and in the combination as well, there is some information I, I, about you. I don't know. And I, I can talk 10 hours about one chart and there's yeah, so many I'm, things. You know, we don't have 10 hours, otherwise I, I would have, you know, easily. Because yeah, but I, this is what it is. It's like human design okay. is not just a reading. Okay. Human design is like your personal workshop. Right. Please it's, explain. It's like, it's a whole education. You cannot just um, get what human design is by will, throwing bits and pieces. Will you please re read that out? Uh, yeah. Abhimanyu, so, okay. Abhimanyu yeah. you are a manifester. Okay. So your type is a manifester. Uh -huh. Your authority is emotional, okay. single definition. Your profile, which is very important to remember, is 2-4 profile. 2-4. Hermit opportunist. Okay. So I can tell you a little bit about okay. it because this it's... Um, why it's important to go into human design in the right way. Okay. Because it needs to bring you some good. Yeah. It is not just information where you learn about your type. Oh, I'm like this, you know. It is something that can tell you what to do. More like a tool. It has a. It is a tool. Exactly. Yeah. It is exactly a tool, and you have to use it as a tool. Right. Yeah. And it is an experiment. Once you learn about yourself, the most fun part starts because you start seeing everything, each part of this in your life. Yeah. And you start working with it. You start playing with it, because a lot of times we are not living our, our design. A lot of times we are living our conditioned selves. Okay. And if you can just look at your life, you can say if you are living your design or not. For example, look at every area of your life. Hmm. Relationships, money, um, hobbies, health, everything. If everywhere everything is good, that means you are living your design and you don't need human design really. Okay. But if there are questions somewhere... Yes, I need it. <laughs> I <don't. laughs> and I'll tell you honestly, manifestors... The only profile that manifestors who really want to know about themselves is the profile to four that you are. Because, oh, okay, okay, that didn't make sense. You have to... <laughs> All right. Because manifestors usually they don't like to go to do any kind of readings. They are too stubborn for that. Okay. Uh, but you have profile to four. Okay. Profile and two, two four. four. This, these are the people who will be wanting to know about themselves till they die. So this is the quest for life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and these are the people who. I would even say that you created this amazing project of yours right. in order not only to find out about people, but through every conversation you find out about yourself. That makes sense, yes. And this is 2-4, I'm 2-4. Okay. So, <laughs> <laughs> so I know this profile even more so because I live it. Okay. And uh, I mean, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful way. It's um, people of... Um, who well, are manifestors first. Right. You know, the whole world population is divided into five types according to human okay. design. Okay. So manifestors, generators, manifesting generators, which I am. Okay. We can make, we can, we can do Karen's chart and see who she is. Yeah. And uh, there are projectors and reflectors. Okay. So manifestors are uh, the rare kind. 
Manifestors are less than 8% of the world's population. No, my mother told me, yeah. <laughs> you are right, right? <laughs> but did your mother give you a lot of freedom when you were a child? No, I, yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. they did. In fact, that's I, mm-hmm. I'm, I'm really grateful for the fact. Mm-hmm. And sometimes I feel that maybe if my parents would mm-hmm. have been a little strict, more strict mm-hmm. and more rigid, I... Maybe I would have done better in life. I don't know because you know, I, I think it's a while. yeah, yeah. Because because you know I don't have any uh, you know kind of I've never faced any kind of uh, any suppression or something that shit. I want to get out of this. So I'm not that angry right now because they were always you know. You have no idea how lucky you are. Because I, many I know. I know. Are the most broken people in society because parents try to change them. Oh, that never happened. They are independent since they are born. These are the kids who start crawling faster than others. They break things because they want to find out about the world faster. And they usually don't like to ask permission. They are already out in the garden or out in the world. Okay, and, yeah, I can relate to that, yeah. Yeah, so if parents let you do that, unless you, um, I mean, children's uh, bringing up and uh, how to communicate with adults is different. With Maybe my parents were manifestors as well, and they were like, let this manifesto yeah. manifest whatever he wants to. <laughs> <laughs> These are wise parents, I would say. Yeah. These are very wise parents because I've seen manifestors who are broken. Okay. And I've seen manifestors who leave their potential. But when you say broken, okay, broken is a very, you know, uh, it's like, uh-huh. you know, shattered. But things yeah. happen to you, right? I mean, yeah. I've faced uh, relationship issues. Mm-hmm. I've faced health issues. Mm-hmm. I've faced, so, and I've faced yeah. uh, what to do in life issues as well. So, broken, yeah. I think you feel the heat, not necessarily from your parents. I'm lucky that I did not face that. I'll uh, explain what yeah. I mean by the word broken. Yeah. It is a harsh word. Yeah, it is. But if you understand the real nature of manifestors, manifestors were, uh, they came into the world, they are pu- kings in the past. Okay. So these people, they, obviously we don't have many kings anymore. Okay. But the crown still uh, spiritually yeah, is there, the, you know? the, the title stays. Yeah. yeah. So whatever manifestors can get away with, hmm. very few people can. Because the aura is not absorbing like generators, they are embracing. The generators are this humming, bubbling, and this warm, fuzzy creature that right. we all want to cuddle with. Yeah. Manifestors are <laughs> like this. Okay. Stay away. <laughs> because that makes sense. Kings, they should not be cuddly. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Kings should not embrace their peasants all the time, you know, like everybody. <laughs> This is not them, so it makes sense why. Yeah, yeah, it does. But the, your profile makes you warm. Okay. Because you have this, uh, because manifestors are very um, independent, individual, very, like if you see a manifestor coming into the room, uh-huh. you immediately know this is a manifestor. Like, I, mean, oh, I can the tell vibe, the vibe. yes. Okay. The vibe is there. I mean, you see the crown. Right. <laughs> you cannot help it. It's like, it's there. Interesting. And these are the people, uh, like, if you have a manifesto friend, to sit down with them and say, okay, share your feelings. Tell me what you feel right now. They'll be like, give uh, yeah. me the facts. <laughs> yeah. I mean, this and this and this. <laughs> and if I want to share them, then I'll share myself, you know? Yeah. So they're more, um, they're not these fuzzy beings that we like to um, share our life experiences with, unless they want to. Yeah. So this is no, one of many, yes. many things. Yeah. And manifestors are the most amazing achievers in the world. Okay, I hope If they live by their design. Yeah. Oh, 